Sports on television has evolved over only one generation. From around the world to around the tri-state, television has brought it all to us all, bringing people together. Right here in town, everyone took pride from the Tigers as they marched relentlessly, unbelievably undefeated to the state finals. The entire tri-state chose up sides when the Screaming Eagles premiered against the Panthers, alive on 25. At 25 Alive, we're proud to bring these and other local sports events to you. And we believe our productions have set the standard for area coverage higher. Mobile News Center 25 can capture virtually any event within our station's coverage area, presenting exclusively all the live action. 25 directors have pioneered the use of slow-mo instant replay in our market. And our engineering staff always puts on the cleanest, most colorful shows in local sports. But the sportsmen make it happen on the courts and fields. Our announcers are sportsmen. They know what they're talking about because they play and love the games. Gary Montgomery, sports director, and Doug Claiborne, sports reporter, make the sports come alive on 25. It takes all this and more to present quality coverage. Now see for yourself the sports that are looking good on 25 Alive. Doug, you're filling in for Daryl today. I wish you could bring us better news about the trips. Yeah, it was really, really a good ball game, but uh, he just couldn't hold on long enough. Okay. Let's get to it right away. The Evansville triplets in general, and Mark Fidrich in particular, suffered probably the worst fate possible in baseball tonight. The final score, 5-2, to two, triplets on the losing end, but there's a lot more to it than the score. The bird looked magnificent through eight innings against the Springfield Redbirds, giving up only a scratch single in the second inning. To back him up, the triplets picked up a single run in the sixth and another single run in the seventh. And going into the top of the ninth inning, it looked like Fidrich would finally get that complete game he's been after for so long and a one-hit shutout to boot. But then disaster struck. After surrendering a leadoff single, the bird got the next man to ground to first. With one out, the next batter drew a walk. And the next, a single up the middle. That put an end to Fidrich's shutout hopes and opened the gates for the Redbirds. They ended with five runs in the inning, three of them charged to the bird. And so despite eight brilliant innings, he suffers his sixth loss against four wins. And the triplets bite the dust by a score, again, five to two. That drops them to 17 games back of Springfield in the American Association East Division. Another disappointing loss. The same two teams get together again tomorrow night for a doubleheader. That all gets underway 6 p.m., out at Bossy Field. Turning to Major League action tonight, first of all in the American League, Baltimore top Toronto 9-7. In the seventh, it's 4-1 Cleveland over Detroit. Also in the seventh inning, 5-2, the Yankees lead the Red Sox. 5-2, the same score, a final Milwaukee and Oakland.